Ah, ha, ha. Yeah, okay, so you saw the title. Steph Curry is garbage and may lose respect and placement on the all time point guard list because, according to everybody, he's been the best point guard for the last five years. And guess what? I agree with that because I was like, yo, Steph Curry, this, Steph Curry, that, Steph Curry, really all that. But he been squatted up. Now he ain't got a squad. And what's happening? He's a fraud. First two games of the season, they get they get whooped on. Ungodly ness of whooped on. The Thunder with Chris Paul and Shea and Gallinari. A 40 ball. The Clippers. I think that was a 30 ball. Alright, last night they just beat the Pelicans. They just beat the Pelicans. Without Drew and without Derek Favors, without Zion. They beat a banged up Pelicans team up. Like, hey, they best perimeter defender wasn't there, so Steph Curry couldn't go crazy. Whoever Damian Damian Lee off the bench was who went crazy too with D Lo, hey. That shouldn't have been there. But this is the reason I'm about to call him a fraud. Not just because of any personal bias. It's because Russell Westbrook and James Harden. See, in 2016, when Steph Curry deboed Kevin Durant from Russell Westbrook, Russell Westbrook led his squad to the sixth seed. Yep. The sixth seed in the Western Conference, coached by Billy Donovan, who's honestly a, a terrible coach, according to everybody. It's a 47 and 35 record. With his next best player being Victor Oladipo. And I don't want you to think of Victor Oladipo today. We're talking about Victor Oladipo fresh off the magic. Got traded for Serge Ibaka, Victor Oladipo. So. If your second best player is equivalent to Serge Ibaka, you're not supposed to go anywhere. But guess what? They said 6C. That's what Westbrook said, averaging a triple-double. Averaging 31. 10 boards, 10 assists. Going crazy on them, boys. Next best player, like I said, Oladipo. After that, Andre Robertson, Steven Adams, and his cancer. Like, hey, I don't want you to think Steven Adams of today. Mm-mm, we talking about 2016 Steven Adams. We talking about 2016 and his cancer. These aren't people that you paying them big dollars. And his cancer bouncing around the league. You knew what you were getting from him though. A double double. Steven Adams. You know, geez, all he could do is rebound and dunk. After that you got Ilya Sova, Sabonis, McDermott. Jeremy Grant, the one that's on the Nuggets now, but again, this is young Grant. This is before he even had a jumper on him. So it was like, yo, struggle flex, Grant. Cameron Payne, Anthony Morrow, Josh Houston, Alex Airbnb, Venus, Samaji Christian, Joffrey Laverne. They had Kyle Singler on the roster. Norris Collins and Nick Collison. That's who Westbrook was toting out for 47 wins. And you got to look, the same season, the same season, James Harden led his team to the number three, number three seed in the Western Conference. Coached by Mac Dean and Tony, I don't care about defense. And this man had Bobby Brown on his roster. Yeah, Bobby Brown, Whitney Houston's husband, the young cocaine, Bobby Brown. That's not just inside Bobby Brown. Let's look at the rest of this squadron. His next best player was who? Lou Will. Hey, hey look, Lou Will the coldest. Lou Will, he been nice, but Lou Will not supposed to be your second best player on the championship team. Or a competitive playoff team. Because, yeah, he a bucket. But he going to give up a bucket on the other side. So, it's like, yo. For him to be number two. Who else could you argue? Eric Gordon was number two. Maybe Trevor Reza. Yeah, they had Ryan Anderson, Patrick Beverly, Clint Capella. Again, not Clint Capella today. But, I mean, it's pretty much the same person. Just athletic. Rebounds. Dunks. But, hey. Nene, Corey Brewer, Isaiah Taylor, Chini Okukuku. 
KJ McDaniels, Tyler Ennis, Kyle Witcher. Yo, come on. Golden State, you don't even got a Kyle on your roster. You got a Kai, but you ain't got a Kyle. If you got a Kyle on your roster, bro, you're not supposed to be hooping like that. But third seed for James Harden. Sixth seed for the Thunder and Westbrook. I know what you're saying. Hey, that team is better. Those teams are better than what the Warriors are toting out right now. And this is why I'm about to say no. Because Steph Curry is supposed to be way beyond Harden and Westbrook. They're not in the same category. You're supposed to look at it as, hey, Curry's the best. And then the others. The same way when KD was hooping, when Kawhi was hooping. But you had 2016 LeBron. It was like, yo, it's LeBron. Then it's everybody else. LeBron's the best, then it's everybody else. And with these guards, it's supposed to be Steph Curry the best, then everybody else. So that's how I'm gonna treat it. So if your best player is supposed to be just another level from those other two teams' best players, all right, so they're already better at the best player position. He better than Westbrook. He better than Harden. Number two best player right now is probably D'Angelo Russell because I'm going to say that for offensive reasons. Honestly, it's Draymond Green. Draymond Green is supposed to be that number two. But I know some people, some people when they said that because, hey, Russell going to get more buckets. So it don't matter which one you pick. They both better than Oladipo in 16. In 16, Oladipo. And they better than Eric Gordon, Lou Willer, Clint Capella, Ariza, whoever you want to pick right there. Better. No competition. Your top three are way better. Because you have to understand, Oladipo, he's like D'Angelo Russell when he just got to the Nets. That's, that's the Oladipo that they had hooping. So, you got... All-star Russell competing with mm, man Oladipo. They traded Oladipo the next year because he was so mad. Cause honestly, hey, him and Paul George they were looking the same for that first year. That first year, then those a hey, the real playoff P showed up. But hey, Oladipo versus Russell. You got that, Steph. Oladipo. Versus Lou Will. Oh, not Lou Depot versus Lou. D'Angelo versus Lou Will. You got that stuff. So, your second best player is way better. Because, hey, that's an all star D'Angelo Russell. I'm just going to call it a D Lo. Just because of the offensive capabilities. And you know how much of the NBA is predicated off offense. That's the only reason I'm not saying it's Draymond. <laughs> better. No competition. Then your third best player, a multiple time champion, multiple time all star, and Draymond Green. Defensive player of the year, Draymond Green. Versus, again, Ariza, maybe? Capella, maybe? Eric Gordon? Versus Steven Adams? Versus Andre Roberson? And everybody know a big three, three good players. Is better than a hey, one good player and then a bunch of eh, mediocre players because that's how much one player can affect the game in basketball. So you got this person that's supposed to be arms and legs and just way in a different stratosphere than these other star players and Steph Curry. And your number two and number three are way better than anybody else on those other rosters by so much. Like, yo, they could... They're not going to be arguably the first best player, but yeah, they're going to be definitively the second best player if they were put on those other rosters, and you getting whooped by 40. By 40. I know you're going to look at the rest of the roster. You're going to be like Glenn Robinson, Eric Pachow, Jordan Poole, Omari Spillman. Man, y'all feel that this team were rookies. Y'all could have picked up some 37-year-old veterans or something like y'all been doing the last couple years, but nah. They don't want to come over there because they don't want to lose. Hey, they said y'all not championship caliber no more. So, why are we pulling up to help y'all? Y'all can't bag the 30 olds no more? So, you had to go with all these rookies. And, hey, look at the rest of these rosters too. Okay, y'all got some names. And I don't want you to think about them how they were right now. Patrick Beverly on the Rockets. He was a dog. 
But it was, yo. What was she shooting from three? Uh, Beverly. Beverly was shooting 42% from the field and 38% from three. That's, that's, eh. Yeah, had Lou Will, who I was saying was the next best player. Shooting 38% from the field and 31% from three. Now they had Sam Decker. They were trying out Troy Williams. Harold before he became, he had his, his birth in LA. A 34 year old Nene, Corey Brewer, Isaiah Taylor, who are KJ McDaniels, bro. Bobby Brown. Bobby Brown. If you don't have a synonym for cocaine on your roster, Golden State, and Yon Kelly. You're not trotting out Doug McDermott. You're not trotting out Cameron Payne. You're not trotting out Anthony Morrow. Eric B and Venus, Josh Hustis, Samaji Christian, Kyle Singler, Norris Cole. So you can't look at them and be like, yo, these are some greater teams. No, they're equally as boo boo, if not worse, because your top was better than they top. Maybe your bottom is a little lower than their bottom was. But in basketball, if you have a higher ceiling players at your top, you should automatically be better because, hey, only five homies on the court at the same time. So if you cannot deal with four, you have three and two bums. Westbrook and Al Harden, they had themselves and then some meh. You have two real teammates and then some bums. He had either meh and bums. Or all bums. Or all mad. He never had somebody else with like, alright, alright, alright. Y'all cool. Cause remember, whenever this Thunder team lost to the Rockies in the like 30 minutes of the series that Westbrook was sitting, they were like negative 100 points. Don't forget that. They were they were struggling with that bro. Struggling with that bro. If the Brody wasn't in the game, the Thunder weren't doing anything. Don't forget that. He ain't have a D'Angelo to return to. A Draymond that could do something. Mm -mm. Oladipo wasn't really helping. Same thing for the Rockets. Whenever Harden was out the game, yo, you had to run the game through Eric Gordon? Eric Gordon? This ain't the Clippers, baby. Anyway... And Steph Curry don't turn this around, he, he, he a fraud. He lied to us. Like, ain't no comp question. Like, him, me, this superstar, super best player? Fraudulence. I believe that. Like, comment, sub. If you enjoy. If you disagree with me. And check the stats. I'm not saying that I'm always right. But I've never found myself to be wrong either.